the perfect. The first time I tried the mandili al pesto dish here at Farina, it was transcendent. You just have these gentle folds of pasta and then this bright green, gorgeous pesto. You think they've put cream in it because it's so smooth and supple. It kind of blew my mind and continues to blow my mind. It's, the dish totally haunts me. It's only one recipe for make pesto, but the difference uh, is uh, you have to use the true ingredients. I found a great guy, he grow basil for us. And it's very curious because the basil looks like the same we have in Genoa. The flavor is the same. We have uh, here the pineapples from Pisa, we keep directly from Italy. They're different than what is found here. The low fat, they very flavor. The movement is important because the coarse salt helps the pineapples to become like a cream. This is basil, we soak in the water. If you don't wash before, it's too strong. It has to chlorophyll and it makes it more oxidized. So it's very important for the pesto, the color also. È molto importante quando si lavora nel ristorante metterci tanta passione e cuore proprio come si fa in casa perché il ristorante è importante quando la gente viene eh, devono la differenza che si trova nei piatti è proprio il cuore the heart the passion It's maybe ready, eh? I'm sorry, guy, but I need time for make this. If you have the true oil from uh, Liguria, because it's so light and fruity, it's uh, fine. But if you don't have this oil, it's more good if you use simple oil, not extra virgin. Because if you use extra virgin, you kill all the flavor about the basil, the pesto, everything. Finito. We are ready for pasta. In Italy, in different places, they make different dough. Where uh, I'm from in Genova, they make like this, with a little white wine. The wine, it gives the nerves, good nerves. Uno, due, tre. So it's very important to use the water of the pasta. Help to the cheese melt. Don't put the paste on the fire. Because uh, if you make uh, warm, the color change, the flavor change. As soon as it hits the table, you smell it. And you literally eat it with your eyes. Your mouth waters. And then you take a bite. Not to sound like a wine geek, but it hits like this high part of your palate. It's like you have taste buds you didn't know you had. It feels like a unique execution. People do not make pasta like this around town. And then with this pesto, it's so creamy. It feels luxurious. This to me is like the ultimate comfort food. I mean, some people want pot roast. I could have the worst day and this would totally set it right.